The music world is mourning the loss of Mary Wilson from the legendary group. I'm Sam here with Jeff and Al Tori joining us from home, you know, and 76 years old, very young, right? And when you really think about it, I think about my parents, they're in their seventies. And I know that she had like nine or 10 grandchildren, three yeah. kids. So my heart is just absolutely with um, the whole family today. And her death was unexpected. She died suddenly last night in her home in Nevada and uh, her cause of death is not known. And of course, Mary began her career in Detroit, rose to fame alongside Diana Ross in the 1960s with the Supremes. The group produced 12 number one hits like Stop in the Name of Love, Someday We'll Be Together, and Baby Love. And in later years, Mary became a best-selling author, a U.S. cultural ambassador and activist who raised awareness about HIV and AIDS and advocated for world peace. This morning, Diana Ross offered condolences to Mary's family on Twitter, saying she has many wonderful memories of their time together and that the Supremes will live on in our hearts. And you know, Al, she just mentioned a couple days ago on, on her YouTube that she's about to release new music. So, you know, her my heart breaks for her family, um, but her legacy will continue on. You know what, Sam, I, I, we're using words like, uh, phrases like mourn the loss and your heart breaks, but also what about let's celebrate an unbelievable life. That has to be in there too, all right? You start off as one of the most famous people on the planet, your music will live on forever, your art will live on forever, then you transition into an activist with 10 grandkids and three kids, if I can take and that a package great deal, and a great, and, a great granddaughter. Granddaughter. and a great granddaughter, I'll take that 10 times out of 10 twice I on know. Sunday. Absolutely. I know, may she rest in, in peace.